After years of relentless work day and night, SpaceX has finally proven that they can achieve whatever they set their sights on. And this was made clear when they successfully caught the Starship booster during Flight 5. Although SpaceX and Musk had openly stated that they would attempt this catch, many experts doubted it was possible at this stage of Starship's development. They believed Musk's declaration was more about grabbing public attention than reality. But SpaceX shocked everyone by pulling off what seemed impossible, catching the booster with precision. While other companies might take time to celebrate after such a monumental achievement, SpaceX doesn't rest. Even after pulling off this historic feat, they've already revealed something even bigger on the horizon. But before we dive deeper into what's next, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. On October 13, 2024, SpaceX launched Starship Flight 5 from its Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, marking one of the most significant milestones in the Starship program's development. The launch was powered by the Super Heavy booster with its 33 Raptor engines, propelling the vehicle skyward in a successful liftoff. For the first time in spaceflight history, SpaceX achieved a remarkable mid-air catch of the Super Heavy booster. This catch was carried out by the massive mechanical arms attached to the launch tower, known as Mechazilla. After separation, the booster executed a controlled descent and hovered above the landing pad, where the arms precisely captured it. Meanwhile, Ship 30, the Starship upper stage, was launched on a suborbital trajectory and successfully splashed down in the Indian Ocean after its flight. Despite some minor damage to the control flaps during re-entry, the upper stage performed as expected, landing close to a pre-designated point in the ocean. Although Ship 30 wasn't intended for recovery, its performance provided SpaceX with critical data for refining future missions. This achievement in booster recovery is monumental for SpaceX's long-term goal of creating a fully reusable space transportation system. Reusability particularly of both the booster and upper stage, is essential for making space travel more affordable and frequent, paving the way for human missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Looking ahead, Starship Flight 6 is scheduled for 2025. This mission will utilize Booster 13 and Ship 31, and it will further push the boundaries of the Starship program. The flight profile will likely follow a similar path to Flight 5, with continued testing of key systems and the introduction of refinements based on data gathered from previous launches. Notably, SpaceX plans to implement more advancements in the Mechazilla catch mechanism, as perfecting this system is essential for reducing refurbishment costs and launch turnaround times. A key part of SpaceX's roadmap is to eventually recover the upper stage of Starship, transitioning from splashdowns in the ocean to mid-air catches similar to the booster recovery. While there is no specific timeline for when this transition will occur, Musk has hinted that future missions will work toward this goal. Musk's long-term vision for the Starship system includes using it for crew and cargo missions to the Moon as part of NASA's Artemis program, as well as for future missions to Mars. SpaceX is also aiming to initiate its first uncrewed Mars missions by 2026, followed by crewed missions in the late 2020s. To make these missions feasible, SpaceX aims to improve Starship's reusability by a factor of 1,000. A goal Musk believes is essential for transforming space travel into something as routine as air travel. While SpaceX continues to achieve unprecedented milestones, Boeing's Starliner program remains mired in problems and delays that have left astronauts stranded in space. The most recent embarrassment came in June 2024, when Boeing launched Starliner on a mission to the International Space Station, carrying two astronauts, Butch Wilmore, and Sunita Williams. What was supposed to be an eight-day mission turned into a much longer stay due to significant issues with Starliner's thruster system and helium leaks. These technical problems became apparent after Starliner docked with the International Space Station. The spacecraft experienced multiple thruster failures, which posed a serious risk to the safety of the astronauts and the mission. The helium leaks further compounded these issues, leading NASA to delay any plans for the astronauts to return on Starliner. 
Eventually, NASA decided that Starliner was not safe enough to carry the astronauts back to Earth, forcing the agency to opt for an uncrewed return of the spacecraft. As a result, Wilmore and Williams, who have now been aboard the ISS for months, will remain there until early 2025. They will be brought back to Earth by a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule during the Crew-9 mission, adding to Boeing's growing list of failures. This prolonged stay raises concerns about health risks associated with long-duration space missions, including the effects of microgravity on muscle mass, bone density, and overall astronaut health. Although NASA assured the public that the astronauts are safe, this situation highlights Boeing's inability to execute even basic tasks without jeopardizing the mission. This latest failure comes on the heels of multiple issues Boeing has faced with Starliner over the years. Since its first uncrewed test flight in 2019, the program has been plagued by software errors, parachute failures, and propulsion system problems, leading to several delays. Despite these setbacks, Boeing has continually promised improvements, but the reality has been far less reassuring. The August 2021 test flight was postponed due to stuck valves in Starliner's propulsion system, further damaging Boeing's reputation for quality control. Boeing's corporate mismanagement has only worsened the situation. CEO David Calhoun made headlines when he increased his salary to $35 million, despite Boeing's ongoing troubles including the Starliner delays and the company's broader issues with the 737 MAX crisis. Many within the aerospace community have criticized Boeing for prioritizing profits over safety, and this sentiment is echoed in the continued failures of the Starliner program. With NASA now depending almost exclusively on SpaceX's Crew Dragon for crewed missions, Boeing's failures have created a risk for NASA's commercial crew program, which was originally designed to have two viable spacecraft providers. As Starliner continues to falter, questions remain about whether Boeing can fix the critical safety issues and ever meet NASA's standards for human spaceflight. For now, the Crew-9 mission planned for early 2025, will finally bring the stranded astronauts home. But Boeing's credibility is in tatters. Throughout the delays and technical issues with Boeing's Starliner mission, many people wondered how astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams felt about being stranded on the International Space Station. They were originally set to stay for just eight days, but now face being on the station until 2025. When they finally made a statement, rather than expressing anger over the ongoing delays, their reaction was more understanding. While many expected frustration, it's understandable that they avoided negative comments since they are, after all, working for Boeing and NASA. Wilmore mentioned that being anxious over the situation wouldn't help, while Williams expressed disappointment about missing family events, but remained professional. Their softened reactions highlight their commitment to the mission, even though they are stuck much longer than anticipated. Given that both astronauts are longtime NASA employees and representatives of Boeing's mission, it's unlikely they would openly criticize the company responsible for their extended stay. While the astronauts have maintained a calm demeanor about their extended time on the International Space Station, it's clear that their extended stay will likely have a significant impact on their physical and mental health. Originally scheduled for an eight-day mission, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams are now expected to remain in space for at least 240 days, possibly even longer if delays continue. This is far beyond the typical six-month duration for International Space Station missions and raises concerns about the effects on their bodies. Spending so much time in microgravity can lead to a number of health issues. Studies on astronauts who have spent extended periods in space show that long-term exposure to microgravity can cause muscle atrophy, loss of bone density, and changes in vision. The body's cardiovascular system also adapts to the weightlessness, which could weaken the heart since it doesn't have to work as hard to pump blood. Additionally, astronauts face an increased risk of radiation exposure, which could elevate their chances of developing cancer later in life. There are also mental health challenges to consider. Isolation, disrupted sleep cycles, and missing out on important life events, as Williams mentioned, can take a toll on astronauts' mental well-being.
Although NASA provides psychological support to astronauts, the prolonged uncertainty surrounding their return could add extra stress. While Boeing struggles with ongoing issues related to its Starliner program, SpaceX has recently made history by conducting the first-ever private spacewalk during its Polaris Dawn mission. Launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida aboard a Falcon 9 rocket, the mission is a landmark in the commercial space industry, pushing boundaries that were once exclusive to government-led programs like NASA. During this mission, the crew, consisting of four civilians, is led by billionaire Jared Isaacman. The other crew members include SpaceX employees and retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Scott Poteet. One of the key objectives of this mission was to conduct a spacewalk, also known as an extravehicular activity, which took place on September 12th, marking the first time non-government astronauts exited a spacecraft in orbit. The Polaris Dawn mission is more than just a milestone in space tourism. It is designed to test cutting-edge technologies that SpaceX plans to use on future deep space missions, including those to the Moon and Mars. A major focus of the mission was to evaluate a new, lightweight, flexible spacesuit developed by SpaceX specifically for EVAs. These suits, which Isaac Mann described as fabric suits of armor, could one day be used in missions on distant planets. The crew also flew higher than any mission since the Apollo era, reaching an altitude of 870 miles, far beyond the typical orbits of most crewed missions. This altitude allowed them to pass through the Van Allen radiation belts, offering researchers the opportunity to study how this environment affects human health. During their time in orbit, the Polaris Dawn astronauts conducted 36 different science experiments, including research on the effects of microgravity on eye health, wearable biometric devices, and motion sickness. The mission concluded after five days in space, with the Crew Dragon spacecraft successfully returning to Earth. For those who didn't see the Starship launch in person, I've got a surprise. You can still experience it with a realistic Starship model, made just for our loyal viewers. Since you've watched this far, we know you're one of them. Head to the link in the description to grab yours now and relive space history. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.